The HTC One M9 was well received, but suffered from a number of flaws, and the more recent HTC One A9 took plenty of flack for its similarities to the iPhone. There has been a spurt of leaks about HTC's next flagship, the HTC One M10, recently, including its specs and various possible names. Here's what we know about it so far, and what we think HTC needs to focus on. HTC One M10 release date HTC ROM developer Lab Tufer took to Twitter on November 9 to spread the rumor that the HTC One M10 will be released in 2016 two to three months after the HTC One X9. The One X9 was announced in mid-December, with the Smarena replacing an expected release in January. This would mean that HTC is likely eyeing a late winter slash early spring release for the HTC One M10. HTC One M10 name There's been a lot of speculation of the HTC One M10 name, and whether that is in fact what it will be called upon release. Given the subpar performance of the M9, perhaps HTC is looking towards a little rebranding for this next model. First it was suggested that the phone would be called the HTC O2, but then this was reportedly killed off and replaced by the HTC Perfume, according to Leakster Lab Tufer. The latter name carries the suspicious air of a code name. The likelihood of seeing a smartphone named Perfume on the market this year seems remote. HTC One M10 price The HTC One M10 price has not yet been announced. But it is expected to be a high-end flagship, so a launch price of around US$700 seems probable. HTC One M10 specs A variety of leaks have suggested that the One M10 will pack in 4GB of RAM, a Micros slot and a 3500 mAh battery, and run Android 6.1 Marshmallow, which we have yet to see any sign of. The One M9 suffered from claims of overheating and thermal throttling thanks to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 processor. This means HTC cannot afford to take it easy with the One M10 specs, it'll need to at least equip it with a more thoroughly tested CPU. Given the prevalence of the Snapdragon 820 in this year's flagship lineup and the chipset's reported improvement in stability over the 810, it seems very likely that the One M10 will sport the chip upon its release. HTC One M10 design The HTC One M9 looks fantastic. But each new device in the One range has seen less of a redesign than the previous one. The One M9 just didn't really surprise us in any way. Apart from a nice brush metal effect, there was a sense that we'd seen it all before, depriving it of any well factor. HTC probably knows that it'll need to be a bit more radical when designing the One M10. For all its talk of the One series being the unchanging Porsche of smartphones, Every design needs a refresh every now and then. Many also consider the area below the bezel containing the HTC logo to be a waste of space, so perhaps that area could be used more productively. HTC One M10 features the Achilles heel of recent HTC flagships has undoubtedly been the rear camera. Moving the 4MP, sorry, Ultra Pixel camera from the back of the HTC One made to the front of the One M9 was a great move, but the 20.7 MP camera on the back of the M9 proves that a high megapixel count doesn't automatically equate to a great camera. We'd like better autofocus technology, an aperture of at least f/2.0, and optical image stabilization on the One M10, if HTC is to finally become a contender in the camera department. One of the biggest surprises to have emerged from MWC 2015 was the announcement of the HTC Vive, a virtual reality headset designed in collaboration with PC gaming platform Steam. From what we know so far, the Vive will be aimed at PC gamers, and early tests suggest it has huge potential to lead the virtual reality revolution. With HTC's main focus still being the mobile market, we're wondering whether the powerful VR headset will have some part to play with the HTC One M10. This will to some extent depend on the graphical firepower of the One M10, because utilizing such a technology on below-par visuals would be a waste of its potential. HTC hasn't indicated that the Vive will be used with its mobile devices, 
but we're hoping it doesn't forget the mobile medium on which it built its reputation. Turning from the mind-blowing to the mundane but extremely useful, we think that USB Type-C is the most exciting cable since me. You can expect to see it included on the HTC One M10. What's so exciting about it? Reversible ends, faster charging, faster data transfers and compatibility with larger devices like laptops. That not enough for you? Read our piece on why USB-C is the all-in-one cable you've been waiting for. HTC One M10 Display The HTC One M10 Display will definitely need to be upgraded from the one on the One M9. Even upon release, the HTC One M9's Full HD screen lag behind the likes of the QHD displays of the Samsung Galaxy S6 and the even older LG G3. We imagine HTC will have learned its lesson by next year, and that the One M10 will have at least a QHD display. Speculation that various leaks are starting to confirm. Size-wise, flagship smartphones appear to have settled on the 5-5.2-inch sweet spot, but the HTC One M10 is rumored to be a 6-incher.